Thank you very much. I'm Visa Sippola, CEO and co-founder of Surgify, and our mission is to make bone surgery safe. Surgical drills are used in a wide range of procedures nowadays, but they can cause life-threatening injuries. These complications cost over 4 billion euros each year on a global scale and cause the death of thousands of patients. So imagine that the drill slips or goes accidentally through the bone and damages, for example, a nerve or a blood vessel close to the bone. Certify has developed a revolutionary patent-pending safety technology which goes into the tip of the drill and prevents it from cutting soft tissues, such as blood vessels or nerves. If the tip touches tissue which is softer than bone, the sharp edges will be safely covered. Here you can see a comparison of different tools. And on the top, you can see that the Surgify tool doesn't make any damage to the soft tissue, unlike the conventional tools below, which make terrible tears. We have received significant support from hospitals and surgeons since the beginning and have, for example, world-famous neurosurgeon Juha Hernesniemi on board. We have received 1.7 million in financing in total now and received a MIT Technology Review Invention Award in September this year. Our multidisciplinary team consists of experts in medicine, technology, business and regulations, which makes it a perfect fit for medical device development. The conventional tips for surgical drills are sold currently worth over 1 billion euros annually in a global scale. Our first target markets are neuro, spine and ear surgery because of worst complications and highest willingness to pay. Our device can be used with existing surgical drills and it's very easy to use. In comparison to ultrasound devices, which are challenging and require practice, this also heats the bone much less. So Surgify sells disposable tips for surgical drills, and now we're primarily planning to use independent distributors, but licensing is also a feasible option. In October, we closed a seed round during which we are receiving the sales approvals and initial proof of concept of sales in Europe. And within a period of one and a half years, we're already initiating discussions of our A round and are also happy to discuss with potential partners and advisors. And so thank you very much. That's it, Mida. Perfect timing. Thanks a lot, Certify. And the four minutes are running. Jury, go. Uh, can you tell a bit more about the technology? Is the protection me mechanical based yes. or is it yes. mechanical? So it's actually, it's a surprisingly simple uh, mechanism that we have patented. And basically you can apply it to any kind of power tools. And there's a sort of a mechanism which can distinguish the hardness of the tissue that is below the drill. And it's extremely reliable and also cheap to manufacture. Do you, do you see this technology potentially being applied to other um, verticals that are use cases? Have you thought Definitely. about it? Yeah. Can you talk about put those? Yeah. Like, just to give us an example of what else this can be applied, just to understand the flexibility of the technology. Yeah, this is actually extremely fle flexible and the patent coverage is wide. It's not only limited to um, medical applications. Currently, we're focusing on like handheld drills but robotic surgery is becoming more and more you know, developed nowadays, and this would be a perfect application for a robot which essentially cannot distinguish between the hardness of the tissue. That's a great risk in robotic surgery. It can be applied to, for example, dentistry and even non-medical applications, which could, for example, be a good licensing case for us. How's the market for surgical tools? Is it concentrated or...? Yeah, the customers are very concentrated. So uh, they are mostly focused on like big university hospitals and centers, which is of course in a way benefit also in, in marketing and sales point of view. Uh, but actually 70 to 80% of the surgical drill market comes from the tips. 
and we're focusing, Certify is especially focusing on tips which you can use with existing power tool equipment. Are, are the drill producers the same people that produce the tips usually? Yes, yeah, so we can actually utilize fairly conventional manufacturing methods, which okay. makes the manufacturing price also in the same range of the conventional um, tip. Do you plan to do the production by yourself, or you want to license it to, to other produ producers? We're, we're using, um, we're outsourcing the full manufacturing process to um, manufacturers who do this kind of tools in large scale, and also take care of the packaging and sterilization. Is the function entirely within the tip itself? Yes. So does it, does it yes. require any electronics, or is it purely mechanical? No, it's, it's concentrated in a small, around five millimeter space at the tip, tip of the tool. So it's purely mechanical, yeah. Does it require, you mentioned that it's very easy for uh, someone to, mm. to use it. Mm. Uh, does it require any training at all, or can I just go and do a s surgery now with this new tool and it's all yeah. gonna be fine? Yeah, uh, all the surgeons who have previously used surgical power tools or drills, they have instantly known how to use it. And we're really focusing on having it the same, same touch and feeling to use. It's also very important in, in the R&D. Do you plan, do you do any kind of onboarding or consulting in that, like with the surgeons, yes. so to make them comfortable yeah. with that, or how do you plan to address that? We have potential? actually many surgeons from different fields, neurosurgery, spine surgery, ear surgery, even veterinary, who, who have been testing this for us and, and providing very valuable feedback. Uh, it, Super quick, is it uh, cheaper than uh, traditional tips? Or um, what's the price difference? Nowadays you need to use multiple different kind of tips. And with this you can do it with all in one solution. Yeah. Finished, great, yeah. thank, thank you. you. <laughs>